And we're back with another Undertale playthrough. Uh, hang on, just let me check a little thing real quick. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I'm just kind of fiddling around with my microphone a bit. Yep, we are all good. For some reason in the last... <clears throat> yeah, let me clear my throat there for a minute. Uh, for some reason in the last video... Um, the volume was coming out at, like, the lowest possible thingamabob. I think I may have fixed that. Uh, my microphone was set on, like, low for some reason. I, I don't know why. I do apologize for that if you couldn't hear what a word I was saying. Okay, so uh, let's let's get on to it. When haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's when I come. Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, hi Sans. <laughs> Is it, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? <laughs> nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. <laughs> you must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> you get comfy. Always watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. <laughs> anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, hmm. Wait, why do I have to choose between fries and a burger? Can't I have both of them at once? That's what I normally do when I go out. Hmm. Yeah, fries are okay, but I'm I'm really I'm really craving a burger. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry, kind of based out there a little bit. I'm... What happens if I choose the wrong thing? I'm, I, I, I'm, look, I'm looking it up. I don't want to... I guess it doesn't matter, so I'm going with the burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. We will have a double order of burg. So what do you think? Oh, my brother, uh... Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh, well, at least he washes it. <laughs> but then, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Yeah, sure. Bon appetit. You tip. Ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Oops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. 
Anyway, cool or not, you have to gr grieve Virus tries really- He does try- He does try really hard. I have to admit that. But how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house to the head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in it. <laughs> of course she shut the door on him because it was mid- <laughs> It was midnight! But the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. <laughs> Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's a, still a work in progress. <laughs> Obviously. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? You mean the one that tried to kill me at the very beginning of the game? Yes. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Hmm. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. Oh, oh the different flowers. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of money. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> he said he, I'll I'll give it a try. Just kidding. I'm gonna put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Grovey said that your food is probably cold by now. <laughs> Says so there, see, I told me all kinds of crap foods, but... D Despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. <laughs> Capitals gag pre crowd so he's starting moving here. I, yeah, I love that. I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. <laughs> it is the tree. Little person walking their little bunny rabbit thing. Looks like it. Constantly being filled with determination over here. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! <laughs> Is 
This is my brother's pet rock. <laughs> he always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. <laughs> you moved it to it. Just move it to your room. Okay, and don't bring it back. Okay, it's still here. <laughs> I just, I'm laughing so hard I spat on my screen. <laughs> it's still here. Didn't you just say that to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> What's my favorite game show? It says stay tuned for a new program. <laughs> What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. <laughs> oh, there's the kitchen. That's a trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. Oh, it's a quiche. But filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Oh, <laughs> how absurd! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please pursue my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. <laughs> now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> ah, it's the dog! What? <laughs> look at the dog's face! Look at the dog's face! Catch that mentally canine! Curses. <laughs> Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, sure. Inside the joke book was the quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Wait, what happens if I try to go in here? The door is locked. What's all the lights coming out from underneath there? <laughs> That's my room. If you finish looking around, we go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh, that, that's his- that's his, like the car bed! <laughs> the car bed. <laughs> hey, th those were all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. <laughs> I'm just a dozen away. From a double-digit follower count? <laughs> of course. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, <laughs> always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Buddy! <laughs> the ending always gets me. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans 
must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> what are these things over here? Ah, yes, action figures. <laughs> A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. <laughs> How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> that's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> What's this? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. <laughs> Clothes are hung up neatly inside. <laughs> so, um... If you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Okay, dating start! Here we are on our date. <laughs> I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. <laughs> We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Okay. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice... <laughs> Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that... Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> okay, this is kind of... <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> no. You planned it all? You're way better at dating than I am. <laughs> Look at his eyes! Look at his bug eyes! N no! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus! I've never beaten, been beaten at dating, and I never will. <laughs> well, he's never actually gone on one before, so of course he hasn't been beaten yet. <laughs> I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. <laughs> Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Oh, almost like a superhero outfit. <laughs> Wear that under your regular outfit. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? <laughs> I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However... 
You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. <laughs> Therefore, what you just said is invalid! Oh no! This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Let's see, uh, shoo. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. These socks? Uh, there's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Yeah, never skip leg day. <laughs> There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. <laughs> but who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles speak can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like Chris, but oh wait, I already read this, I... My hat? My hat! My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. What is that? What is that thing coming out of his head? Is that a present? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Yes, it is a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! Yes! Why'd I say yes to that? Oh, okay, we, we, we got spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong. Oh, it's not spaghetti. This ain't a plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken casket. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this could go any further. Eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Uh, no! Oh, look at that! Oh, God. Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I. Um. Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And it said, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that is wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. 
After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <laughs> What is the- hang on. Somebody tried to call me, but I don't know who it was because they were speaking Spanish and I don't speak Spanish very well. I took it for like, what, two, three years? Like two, two years, I think. And I don't know much. Okay. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday... You'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Wait, let me try that again. <laughs> I I just love his laugh. <laughs> Action figures of many sexy robots. <laughs> oh god. It's a race car bed neatly made. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. A box of bones. Door's still locked. Let me go, uh, just save real quick. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. <laughs> I can't believe we just spent like a half hour trying to go on a date with a skeleton. Am I going the right way? Yep, looks like it. Oh, I forgot the save point right here. Let's hang out again sometime. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Oh. Hmm. Oh, what is this? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. What's this? Oh. 
There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Do you take it? The old tutu, okay. Finally, a protective piece of armor. So that was like three. Yep, now I got ten. Wait, let me try something. Oh, I can't I can't even call her anymore. Well, I tried. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But to die, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh no! Is it go- oh! Okay, that was a little nerve-wracking. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Ha <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> oh, oh, he fell on his face. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yes, always stay determined, guys. Guys and gals. Always stay determined. When four bridge scenes align in the war, they will sprout. Hmm. I guess these are the seeds. There we go. Nice little pretty flowers. Oh my, what? Uh... Okay, that's a new one. Try this. Flex. Iron flexes twice as hard. 
Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. You flex harder, I'd flex is twice as hard. I won't lose though. Oh. Ow! Ow! He flexes himself out of the room. see what this does. Now I guess I can't get there. I guess not. Hmm. I got an idea. They said four, right? Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially till I got yours. Nah. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. <laughs> a long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. <laughs> Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. King will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. <laughs> oh. Okay, that that's a new one. I don't even know what that is. Green means clean. Oh. Alright, there we go. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Ah, it seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> Through the telescope. Check wall, hmm. I w wonder what that means. Because it was, um, it was right here, and right there.
Hmm. I'll try going this way. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Hmm. Actually, I was kind of low on health. Uh, I'm gonna try and find that last save. There we go, yep. I think I can get here now. Or not, uh... It was the other way. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle! <laughs> oh, so that's what that was for. Alright, where's the save, star? There we go. Yep, now I'm at full health again. I mean, I had healing items, but I didn't want to use them just yet. Oh! Oh no! Oh wait, the blue! Uh... Oh. <laughs> 
Yep, I, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. Both of them at once. Well, at least it was just those two. Alright, now we're back here. Oh, whoa! Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what the? Ah! What? Oh. Oh, I keep getting nailed by those things. Oh! Whoa! Whew, that, that was way too close. Yo, did you see that? Undying just touched me. <laughs> I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> this cheese has been here so long a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Squeak. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's Sands again. I'm thinking about it getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? It it's just all red. There is, there is nothing here. So much for premium, am I right? The telescope. Oh! Oh, what happened to my eye? Oh, you aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What is this thing? What's a star? Can you touch it? 
Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? What's in here? Oh, an ice cream sales. <laughs> The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Let's see, uh... Nice cream is pretty cheap. Now just twenty-five. I'll buy one. Super here you go. Cards in your box. Actually, I think I think my inventory's full. I'm gonna go. Grab my punch card now. Oh, I have two nice cream. Put one of them in storage. See it down this way. Oh, you got me. I, I love it, he flexes himself out of the room. Hey, what do these do?
Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that... <laughs> I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Oh jeez, I didn't change out of that thing. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Okay, I'm just gonna get the the, the ice cream, but like I can buy more ice cream later. What the? What is this? Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm uh, Onion Sun. Onion Sun here. A giant onion? What? Look at the face on that thing. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. <laughs> Look at the eyes again! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around, have a good time. And waterfall. <laughs> oh. Hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. You hum a funky tune, Jarrett falls even.
Maybe I'll come back to this later. This power has no counter. Deed human cannot take monster. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened, and now it never will. Hmm. What do we got? Are those umbrellas? Please take one. I have an umbrella now. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the, the the code for the Okay, I think I I know what's going on now, okay. So it was, uh... Let me start that over. There we go, there we go. Carrying too many dogs? Annoying dog. Where'd the dog come from? The doggo! The dog absorbs the artifact. No! Where are you going? Where did the dog go? Where did the dog go? No, where? Yeah, I don't have the... Oh. Dirty dishes left unwashed by a dog. What happens if I do this? Hmm. 
Oh, what do we got here? Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Ha. Let's go. I don't know what this little guy is. Is he like a lizard or something? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha ha. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Vol volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. She almost hurt me. She almost hurt me. That's, uh... Something to consider. Ooh, that's a, that's a cool sight. This ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see a dine, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Oh. Okay, yeah. There we go. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> You always find a way to fall flat on your face, too. Alright, it's been... I, I think we're gonna call it right here. So, uh... Yeah, this is fun. Okay, uh... Yeah, have a good one, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out.